Well, hello there, class, and uh, here we are. Uh, we'll see the start of week three, module three. Can you believe we're already a quarter of the way through our eight-week term? Uh, these classes are going very, very quickly. Hey, um, I wanted to uh, just come uh, get in front of you and do another video really quickly. Um, I actually recorded a video last night, uh, and um, so, you know, some of you had reached out and said, hey, I can't hear your video from last week. And so I recorded the video, spent quite a bit of time on that, and then I played it back, and uh, as I posted it, I said, oh yeah, I better check to make sure the sound is there, and lo and behold, the sound was not there. So um, I felt good uh, in one respect that um, it was not my mistake. Uh, I actually checked in with central office at CLU and asked, hey, have you had any other issues? And um, got word that there's been some significant issues with the video posting. So one, I'm, I'm grateful that as we posted our videos um, at the beginning of the term, uh, that um, we were able to hear our sound. So uh, we were good up until that point, and then now, uh, the last couple of weeks, there's been some issues. So um, my apologies for last week, and I'm glad that I caught it before I posted this week. Uh, but I just wanted to jump in um, <clears throat> on uh, this upcoming week and talk through some things that we're looking at. Um, let me just say a couple things, and you see me um, write some content uh, to you via announcements and some emails. Um, I just have been really impressed, okay? So I just want you to hear that out loud from me. Some of you, um, you know, may not have seen the notes that I've left, but just, just know that the work that's been done so far is really good. I've been teaching online for quite some time. Um, I started teaching leadership studies actually back in 2008, so, you know, we're almost in 2020, so going on 12 years or so. Um, <clears throat> and um, I've taught a number of schools, uh, different kind of class content, undergrad, grad, degree completion, uh, you know, adult learning and so forth. Um, and, you know, I just got to say, it's only been two weeks, but this has been some of the great, just the best content, best um, back and forth engaged conversations and dialogue that I've seen on these topics. So, so thank you for your commitment to that. A couple of reminders, um, just things to kind of, uh, you know, get in front of us. Remember how important it is that you post your initial thoughts by Thursday. Okay, that's going to be really important. And let me say a couple reasons why that is. One, it's 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 a requirement for the class, right? So you have to, <laughs> if you want to to be uh, eligible, I would say even for full credit, um, you have to post your initial thoughts by Thursday. Okay? If you don't, uh, full credit's not available, right? You've not met the requirements for that. Um, the other thing is, if you don't post on Thursday, your classmates miss out, and and that's the last thing I want to see happen is your classmates missing out on an opportunity to learn from you, right? That's the beauty of education, especially as we have moved, you know, education has had many, uh, you know, iterations and um, obviously different topics are taught in different ways, right? If we're going to learn math or economics or some, you know, some, you know, biology or something like that, we have to have kind of more of the sage on a stage type approach, right? We have to have the expert up front that's talking through the content that's actually presenting the lecture at history, things that are kind of without question, right? One plus one equals two. The Magna Carta was signed on this date, right? So, you know, all these different things. We have to have, like, expertise, um, instruction, and lecture, okay? When it comes to something uh, like leadership studies, of course you want expertise, um, and you want to, you know, make, to make sure that the people that are teaching the classes uh, have the knowledge and understanding of the content. Um, but, I maybe I should say, and what you also want is someone that can direct the conversation, right? So we are now moving much more, and I think you've even seen a shift from, from leadership, right? So we at one point had, you know, the great man theory years and years ago, and that was the thought that if you were, um, you know, uh, 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 the, the greatest leaders are going to be those that were, that were male, right? And so obviously that is not the case, and yet that was an approach that was taken so And obviously there's more to it than just great man, but you hear a great man in the title, and that was basically the ethos of it, right? Then you have transactional leadership, and basically it's a one-for-one, -one, I'm the boss, you do this for me in exchange for this. And now we're moving more into a transformational leadership approach. Well, it's the same thing. We've seen a, trans a transition, a transformation, if you will, in education. Well, what's the goal of education? Education, right? The goal of education is not just education, right? It's not just to fill our minds with things. Um, I would offer up that it's not um, simply just to um, to inform, right? It's to transform. It's to change us. And that transformation, that that approach, takes place by a way of not just in in respects to especially leadership, hearing from one person, right? Not learning in isolation, but learning in community. And so that's why I've been so impressed by what's happened thus far in our 
class is you have engaged with some really thoughtful dialogue. Don't let that stop. But if you don't post by Thursday, then it's not just you that misses out on points. It's your classmates that miss out on opportunities to read your thoughts, to engage with you, and learn by way of peer-to-peer -peer learning. Okay? So remember, Thursday night, that gives you a full Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, five full days to read the content from the week and then launch into uh, writing your response by midnight on Thursday and then engaging with at least two of your classmates between uh, basically uh, Friday morning at midnight, right, and then Sunday, uh, I'm sorry, I keep saying Sunday, I teach another university and we have Sunday nights, Saturday night at midnight, okay, so Thursday uh, at midnight it's due and then you have Friday and Saturday to engage in conversation with your classmates. And then you start it again, right? Thir Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to read, post, and then so on and so forth. So it's crucial, it's crucial that you make sure that you adhere to those deadlines, okay? And make sure that you're thorough and thoughtful um, both in your initial posts but also in your engaged dialogue, right? This isn't just one of those, hey, nice post, by you know and I know that we get that to an extent but I really want to see you diving deep and making sure that you're citing the literature right the content that the text we're reading even outside of sources in to uh, support your arguments and when doing so make sure that you provide proper uh, and full citations um, both your um, you know the overall APA um, citation at the end you know the full length and then also the in-text citation so don't just tell us that it came from Littman Blumen but tell us what page it came from right give us exact notations give us exact in-text citations because you know and I'm always gonna assume the best but the last thing that any of us wants to do is assume that somebody or even have the inclination that someone might be attempting to claim somebody's original ideas as their own now I'll just tell you um, this is not to you know any wear any sort of badge of honor or what have, but but Gene uh, Littman Bloom and Dr. Dr. Littman Bloom is a, is a is a dear personal friend of mine. Um, I have known her for oh probably the last six years or so, almost seven years. Um, we've interacted quite a bit. We've worked together on projects. Um, we've dined together. I mean, we I, I have we've gone to concerts together. We have done life together, and I really really. Um, value her friendship and as I read this book and as you read this book as we're diving into her literature the the, the blood sweat and tears that she put into it um, this is her life's work and so I think that you know it even hits more home when I'm reading a text of someone that I personally know and I know how invested that they are in that content so just be really careful um, again I, I don't think anybody's out there doing it with intention um, but we do want to make sure that we give credit where credit is due when we're citing uh, uh, Littman Blumen along with others and the other thing I would make mention of is make sure that you cite her properly so when you're referring to her in a video um, or when you're writing her name down it's not Jean Littman it's Jean Littman Blumen right she, that's her that's her official uh, name and so we want to make sure that we cite her properly and completely in doing so. All right, so that's really important. So Thursday nights uh, by midnight, that's your response. Then engage discussion between you and two classmates, not just on your original post, but on their posts between uh, when you have your first post uh, due Thursday at midnight and then uh, midnight on Saturday and we start all over again. Okay, so great work on that. Thank you for your commitment. If you have questions, please let me know. Um, you'll notice that I have your grades updated for module one. I'm working on module two currently. Um, and uh, in, in getting those uh, grades, you'll notice probably a couple of things. One, maybe you didn't get the score you'd hoped for. Um, two, I tried to provide feedback as far as why that was. Some of it didn't go through, and so I had some questions. So I'm in dialogue with some of you on that, so that's good there. Um, but a couple things to remember. So uh, if you didn't get full credit, it's, it's because you didn't um, meet, you saw a rubric, and there was a you know, score given in each of the different categories. Um, maybe it was the deadline, maybe it was the video wasn't complete, maybe it wasn't a direct connection to the literature, whatever it might be. Um, but if you want to obviously do better in the future weeks, make sure that you pay attention to those grading rubrics and improve on the things that were noted. Um, the other thing to remember is there's still a lot of points left, right? So that was only week one. We're on week two now, grading that, and we're into week three currently. Um, but the content that you're working on, right, there's lots of points. That's, you know, one of the benefits of being, I'm used to working on a 100-point scale. And in a class that's not on a 100-point scale, but a larger scale than that, you have more points to work with. So the way that it equates and works out from a scoring standpoint in the overall scheme of things is that you have more points to work with. So don't be discouraged. If you have questions, please uh, feel free to reach out to me, and I'm happy to provide additional feedback if need be. 
All right. Uh, this week we have our first assignment. Okay. So, and I'm sure you've are, are kind of figured this out, but the easiest way to get to that is I'm going to look over on my other screen. Uh, you're on your course modules home page, and you click on assignments, and then you'll see assignment number one that's due. Uh, uh, let's see, when is it due exactly? Uh, it is due October 27th at 11:59. PM. Okay, and so you have all the details that are in there. So Sunday at 11:59, APA format. Make sure it's all proper. If you have questions on that, ask me. Um, one of the best resources that I found. You've probably even been using this in the past. Is if you just Google Purdue. OWL, like OWL, uh, but it stands for Online Writing Laboratory, Purdue, the university, OWL. And there's uh, just a ton of resources uh, specific to APA available for you uh, to take advantage of. Okay? So here's what I would encourage you to do. It's Tuesday now. Read the, uh, the assignment, the prompt. Read it, read it you know, a couple times. Make sure that you fully grasp what's being asked of you, and then start at it. Just give it a first go, right? Do a, you know, a scaffold that thing out, do a framework, do some sort of a kind of a body of how you're going to uh, piece this thing out. Work on the assignment, and then walk away for a bit. Come back, read the assignment again, make sure you followed and adhered to everything that was being asked of you, and then work on it again, then walk away and come back, right? So you've got some time between now and what it's due. It's going to be uh, 1,250 uh, words long, right? So four to five pages. That's a limit, so don't go over 1,250 pages, or words, <laughs> pages. Uh, don't go over five pages. Um, make sure it's double space, it's Times New Roman, 12-point fonts, one-inch margins, all those specific to APA formatting requirements. Make sure you answer the three uh, questions and you provide again a thorough and thoughtful response in your paper okay if you have questions ask them early not later okay and here's here's the thing if you ask me on Sunday chances are you're not going to get a response right if you wait until Saturday Saturday is the busiest day of the week for me believe it or not so I'm you know I've got work all day I'm at home with kids and wife and family and all that doing stuff throughout the week but Saturday is by far the busiest day that I have of the week and so it's a weekend so I'm not you know attached to my computer like I am at work during the weekdays I'm out in the soccer field with the kids and having friends over so life is really busy so if you have questions about this assignment, ask them. Um, a good rule of thumb is ask them at least, at least 48 hours before it's due. But I would encourage you ask, you know, 72 hours before it's due, three, four days before. It. Ask today, right? Don't wait until the last minute. Um, it's not because I'm like, oh, they asked the last minute, I'm not going to respond. Uh, but chances are, I'm just not going to have an opportunity to respond, right? So weekends, um, I'm usually online in the evening. So if you write me an email Sunday morning. I'm probably not going to get it uh, until uh, that evening, right? So if the paper is due at midnight and you wrote at 10 a.m., you don't get a response and you know, those, what, 12 hours between 10 a.m. when you wrote it and 10 p.m. when I'm online, if I'm online that late that night, you know, that only gives you two hours to make adjustments. So ask early, ask often, because you want to make sure you're going into this thing properly, okay? Uh, last thing, uh, I posted a video last week, um, I think it was last week, um, or maybe it was this week, can't remember exactly, the days all blur together, but I posted this video called The Brackwards Brain Bicycle. Hopefully you had a chance to watch it, um, along with a quote from Alvin Toffler, and that quote said, the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. Another way to say that I think it was G.K. Chesterton once said that the goal of education is not learning. He says, nah, the goal of education is unlearning. Um, but I love what Toffler says, kind of a follow-up to that Chesterton quote, in that it's not just unlearning, but it's relearning, right? We don't want to just spin you off and kind of destroy everything that you thought about or thought that you knew, but helping you to think about it a little bit differently and, and perhaps relearn those things along the way. Education is powerful. Um, I think it's, it's, uh, it's an imperative that we approach things from a place of intellectual humility, right? Having our values, our beliefs, standing firm in them, but in certain things, realizing that there's, I maybe don't have all the, the whole story, right? Um, I maybe don't know everything that I thought I did, and perhaps I can learn some things. In fact, I would offer up, even if you disagree with folks, you can still learn things from them. Um, whenever there's something that we might take offense at or we might feel is not true, I would argue that there is always going to be at least an inkling of truth in everything that is said to us and about us. And it is up to us to discern through, to get into that critical analyzation, uh, you know, the kind of higher echelon of tech, uh, Bloom's taxonomy, both in our education but also just in our regular thought processes. Um, to unlearn some things and relearn some things, right? We will never, ever, ever, I don't think ever, um, 
lose if we're willing to ask questions and listen to other people. We'll never lose. I, I, I can't guarantee many things, but I can guarantee we will never lose if we listen and we ask questions and we're willing to learn from other people. So I would encourage you in our classes, make sure you're doing that um, in all of our classes, right? In your engagement with your classmates as you're listening, watching, all of those things. 